So, Sunflower Challenge update. It is a challenge this year. I'll show you why. <laughs> These are my sunflowers. You see, they're in little pots. They're not in the garden. And these are suffering even more. Yeah, over a foot tall and in these little trays. Problem I've had is it's been cold and very, very wet. I'm not crawling about in the wet to get these in, to get these in and I've got to prepare that other place. But as it's been giving me nightmares, I thought I would do another little carving. I haven't done it yet. But I found this little creature looking at me. Now this will not be a wood spirit. This will be a demon. I don't know if you can see the eyes there. So I'm going to carve this off to the shed. So guys, here we are in the shed. Sunflower challenge. Um, although I'm not planting sunflowers, I'm carving a sunflower root. So, um, look, I've had my ears lowered. This is in preparation for shed wars. It's my military cut. Be afraid, be very afraid. But that's not about this. And I've got some stuff with me. I've got to remove quite a bit of wood. I'll show you what, well, the piece for a start. Um, pencil. I don't know whether you can see that, but on this side here, there's a piece that looks like a, a twisted eye. And on the other side, I can match it. I'm thinking of a skull type nose. And I mean, two minds whether to just finish it there like top of a skull and have big hanging teeth or have a grinning mouth and finish it off at the bottom. But what I've got to do is, is even this side off a little bit. Oh look. Sunflower Challenge, Nick's Allotment. Check Nick's Allotment, a link will be below. I'm gonna take that away on that side to sort of match that side. I will try and film it so you can see what I'm doing. I will probably fast forward some stuff, skip some stuff, and we'll see the result. So, I hope you can see what I'm sort of going for here. I'm going to go for a grinning face. I've just put some pen in that, which would be the second eye. A skeletal nose and grinning skull-like jaw. I've got to get rid of a lot of this stuff. And I've got to take this side down. But what I'll, um, I might have to use some of the tools for that. I really don't want to put that on bandsaw to get that off because it's... Yeah, it's full of grit and stones and stuff. I need it flat if I want to hang it up, you know. So what I'm going to do is start by trying to get this down here. And then I'm going to have to look how I tackle this stuff. Yeah. Now this is a very sharp knife and it's a very long knife. And they do cut skin better than wood. You don't want to watch this, I'll switch you back on if there's anything really important. All I'm doing is rounding this up, which will be bottom of the jaw, yeah? And I've just got to cut into there and try and even it up a little bit. I quite like that, it's like a big funky cheekbone. So what I'll try and do is carve something similar on the other side to match which depending on which way it grain on this runs this stuff's not well i know i mentioned it before but it's been in ground all year and but it's it's not punky it's i don't know spongy i don't know how well it'll whether it would have been better if i would have dried it 
if I'd have actually dug it out and dried it, I mean. But what I'm going to try this year is I'm going to try and do some green ones, which should be quite fun. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. I'm doing this out of shot because it's always better to pull a big knife like this away from, well, any knife, especially as this is shaving shop and I have shaved with it. I wanted to carve something really ugly, you see, because I've got something to keep the kids out of the fridge. I use this, this on the fridge and that keeps the kids out. But if, um, obviously I don't want to go that ugly, but if I put this one on the freezer, they won't eat all the ice creams and I'll get one occasionally. That's the plan. If I can get a fridge magnet on it, or I might just leave it on the on the cellar door to where the freezer is, just to keep the kids away. And the man cave, so that might be even better. I'm probably better off with that now for this front. If I can bring that front into something like the other side. See, I'm doing that. It's just like peeling a potato. The good thing about that is you can you can't cut yourself. Well, it's very difficult to cut yourself if you use your knife like that. <laughs> Because when I say you can't do it then, I know what's going to happen next. And again, I'm on upward grain. I'm trying to even it up some, but I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's that even because it's a demon. Demons are renowned for being ugly. See, I've took this away to try and match it up a little bit on this side. And I've got to still flatten back off a little bit more. I might actually put that on um, belt sander. I will try. So, I sand it back flat, on belt sander, or flat enough for what I need. And I've got that bit of shaping on that side. And because I'm in the workshop and not in the man cave, I've got all the tools in here. Now I've got to bore this eye out. I'm gonna try using the gouge. I'm going to gouge his eye out. <laughs> How wonderful. Um, but if not, and same again with the the nose where it'll be. I might just use the drill press and uh, start me two rounds and then I can carve up from that. And if I use the drill press on these eyes, I can, I'm thinking I might, well, I haven't got any beads, but I think there's some beads in the old uh, kit in the house where the kids make stuff with that might just fit in and make some wonderful eyeballs. But if I do that with a maybe a five mil bit, six months quarter inch in it just under quarter inch so I will try that first I'll try with the gouge because what I want to do is obviously try and match this hole here yeah, the shapes on the on the rule itself get the big guns out two pairs of glasses for the visually impaired As I say, this stuff's quite pithy. If I, I'm, I'm looking forward to growing them this year just to see if I can, how well they'll carve green, you know? Even if it's a case of like roughing some out a bit and then leaving them to dry. And I will dry them out properly this year as well, dry some out properly this year, because I've got about a hundred sunflowers. <laughs> no, maybe not quite a hundred. Uh, I would say I'm somewhere, somewhere in the sixties. So I've got to be strategic where I put them this year. See where I'm going there. Now a man who were cleverer than me, and if you had some LED lights, you could put some little red LED, LEDs in there. <laughs> mm. 
the lady lights. Let's have a look at this nose. Or oh, nose hole. Because this demon's got no nose. How does he smell? Terrible! Ha ha ha! Dad joke there for you. I got into carving a few years ago after having an operation. I had a couple of operations over the last couple of years. And I'd done a little bit before, but I really got into it after. I'm talking operations, there's a mate of mine just had an operation. I'll not mention any names, but if you're watching this, I hope you're well. And uh, yeah, I watched a few videos. I did a bit, as I said before. I've always been into woodworking and stuff. And I just found it. I just got into it. Anybody can do it. All you need is one of them, really. You don't need one of them. A VTOL's handy, but you, you don't need much to do this. And as I say, that's, that's free, isn't it? You know? That I think I bought the set and that it cost me about 15 No, it didn't. It cost me about $25 worth a set of knives, and that's really the only one I use. I, I do occasionally use some others, but. It weren't much, you can get them really sort of reasonably priced. And I'm in Switzerland, I'm sure it guys in the States or in UK even. Well, I know in UK you can get you can get them. I mean, there's loads of stuff, but this is just a generic knife from I don't even know where it was. Flex, not Flex Cut, it's got, no, it's not Flex Cut, Flex Cut is a good company. This is just a generic one from a kit which is a, a cheap brand, what they do here in Switzerland. Unfortunately, you, you can't buy that knife on its own. All I'm trying to do now is put some depth into this. It doesn't matter if it's raggy even on this because he's a demon. Demons are raggy and ugly. Incidentally, if you have got a small workshop, this bench that I'm working on is a flip top bench. My um, chop saw's underneath it. And it just flips out. I'll put a link above to the build. Oop. Look at that, it jumped out of my hand. channels I'd recommend if you want to get into carving is Gene Messer. He's he carves flat plane figures, little figures, very good. Shows how he does stuff. Does some in, uh, um, instructional videos, and he carves a lot of little men and stuff, and they're really good. Obviously, you develop your own style. You don't use and well, you, you, can, you can copy stuff. I've done some of Doug Linnicker's stuff. Doug Linnicker's another good one. Put some designs out or show some designs. Some of them his own. Some of them that he, he's learned from from stuff and shows how he's done them. And as I say, if you start doing a bit, you can get your own. You get your own sort of style. You know, it's. And it's not difficult, it can be learned, it's not. A, it's a skill, not a, a talent. All right, some people have probably got it as a talent, but anybody can do this. It's just a case of trying. And if you're in sort of a situation like today where I'd like to be planting some flowers, but it's wet through and it's been really, really, really wet, then and you've got some time on your hands, then why not do a carving?
make the time. And something I will mention, uh, this is the sunflower challenge. I will be giving one of these carvings away, not this one. I'll show you, yeah. And if you remember, if you're in the sunflower challenge, there'll be a random draw done on Nick's channel, and I will send that carving anywhere in the universe. It'll be just a random draw to all the people who have entered the sunflower challenge. So enter sunflower challenge, and if you like this video, share it and tell people that you can win a carving if you win if you're in the sunflower challenge by Nick's allotment. Get in there, but uh, this stuff's a bit, like I say, pithy. It's pithy. But I don't care if it comes out clean. Because what I'll do in that, I'll paint in there black. Oh, camera says not much, not much space. I'll be back. But yeah, working nose back. Yeah, I'm gonna do some work on the teeth. That fella back. More a good knife, long, more of a bush tash craft carver than a, than a whittling knife though. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give him some sort of, you know, a bed. Uh, oh, well, obviously he's a skull type face, so he's got no lips, fortunately. And I'll have to try and clean that out a little bit better. I would find a way but yeah I'm gonna put him sort of teeth on him like let's have a look and draw them on we'll see how they go on these sides because the sides are quite difficile so guys I've just been hacking away at this and it was hacking away it's quite funny to, sh to carve um, I've just done the bottom of this tooth using the old gouge and that just gives me sort of a rounded shape at the bottom and then I've got to remove some of this material here to give the, the tooth some shape. This side might be a little bit more difficult due to the fact that it's very cracked and raggy so we'll see what we can do with that, see how it turns out. It doesn't matter if he's ugly does it, he's meant to be ugly. What I've been doing is I've just outlined these teeth again I used the gouge and the v-groove just to define where they are <coughs> and I'm removing material from around here to bring the nose out and the face back and also the teeth up because I've got to bring material out from here and here and I've also just been taking a little bit from here from this cheekbone I'll do the same on this side I think you might only end up having four pointy teeth or two normal ones and two big sort of canines coming up though rather than down and because as I say that's going to be difficult to carve because it's all cracked up I'll carry on and I'll come back to you I'll do a little bit more on it this is where I'm at I've got to I've defined the bottom of the chin bit here if you want and I'll just keep on working at it and we'll see how we comes on. Don't know what I'm gonna do for paint. It might be just a wash. I want to obviously put some lights on teeth to bring teeth out and obviously some darks in these gaps because that's almost like a negative now yeah because in here it should be dark and this bit should be light. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That's where I am. I'm just putting some uh, impressions of smaller teeth in on sides and I'll try and get some more detail in. But it doesn't have to go crazy because paint can do a lot of work what you don't have to. Depending on what you're doing of course. Sorry about that, I just received a funny text. <laughs> he said, I'll tell you what it said. It said, don't expect COVID to last very long. It was made in China. 
I'll probably get demonetized now I said that. But never a true word said in jest. And all I'm trying to do now is put some shape on the teeth a little bit. I'm just going to get a bit of sandpaper and try sanding some of the bits round. Because I don't think I need to do much more with it really. Just try and smooth some bits off. It's always, always every one I've done, it turned out really bitty. But I think some paint on that's going to make a lot of difference. Paint can make ugly pretty and pretty ugly. I don't think I'm going to do much more on that, just a bit more sanding. Um, I'm going to see if I can find some beads for eyes, but I'm really like that LED idea. I'm wondering if I've got some LEDs somewhere. I remember having some, but have I still got them? That is the question. Because sometimes when you're recording, people come and knock on the door. So if the, the demon's eyes are on, don't enter. This could be moved from the man cave or to the shed. So, off to look for LEDs before I do anything else. So, good and bad news on the LEDs. I do have some, but they're white ones. So we'll have white eyeballs. I could possibly blob some red paint over them. See how big they are. I've got a fly now. 4.71, 5 millimeter. So if I drill a 5 millimeter hole in here, insert them from the back. These run on, these are 3 volt. Uh, the long leg is a positive leg, and the short leg is the negative leg. So what I'll do, I'll get them in, bend them and solder them together so they're running line uh, battery holder's going to be a pain I might have got a little switch somewhere I won't go into the uh, soldering details on this it's not about that but I've got the things I'll just check see if I've got some I've got some little batteries though might do the job Cheapo batteries, can you see that? Cheapo batteries, I always have some of these. Is that a three volt that one? No, they're all the same. Ice comma five. Slippery little buggers. So they would, in theory, do the trick. If I can. Yeah, I could tape them together. Possibly. I'll work it out, but that's not what it's about. I'll show you when they are in and done. I'll drill it though and show you what I'm, the idea. All I've done is run, run, drill through them and I'll insert them front bike. <laughs> Might have been better going to six mil. insert from the front yeah I measured bulb I didn't measure the I measured the front and not the ridge at the back uh, what I can do I don't know they might look quite more evil I might just take them holes a little bit further down because that one's that one goes further forward but I don't want to go all the way through I might just do the old wiggly drill trick I wiggled it just a little bit oh yes whether you can see that even not switched on 
if light catches it right, it reflects on it. Uh, whether that's picking up on camera or not. See? Mm. Like a cat's eye. Front reflector. <laughs> Difficult to see. I need new eyes myself. <laughs> I need new eyes myself. I'll have to make myself a pair. Quite cool uh, warning I'm filming. <laughs> and now for a word about our sponsors. This video is sponsored by Nick's Allotment. Well, sort of. Because the sunflower that this is grown from was uh, from seeds from Nick's Allotment. And like I mentioned, I will be giving a sunflower carving away and I will show you which one it is, right? This handsome little chappy will be going to one of you guys who wins in the draw, which Nick will be drawing at the end of the year for all the people who have entered the Sunflower Challenge. So get over to Nick's allotment channel and join the Sunflower Challenge this year. I've just done a little bit of painting. I'm just going to uh, do the lights. So guys, I know it's quite a long one, um, but it took a bit of time. This is where I am. I've got a battery pack on him, I just taped them together and I did actually drop a bit of solder on ends for the wires, but it looks pretty cool. I haven't found a switch yet, I know I have one or two, but I'll have to find him. I did find the, the LEDs luckily, but that is going to be me, my recording light which will go on the cellar or on the shed, it will be detachable. <laughs> Don't forget, thumbs up or a thumbs down. And uh, share this video because if you uh, enter the Sunflower Challenge, you might have got a chance of winning one of my carvings. And some of the great prizes from Nick. Nice to be nice.